Previously on To Get Lost. We arrive in the creepy abandoned marina in Argostoli. Take our first trip up the mast. And make a very cute new friend. You sexy thing. Ooh, I believe in Barry Cotton's baby. Since you came along. You sexy thing, you sexy thing, you. While we were safely moored alongside, we had a few more boat jobs to tick off before we set sail again. And an exciting package was waiting for us at the post office. It's Christmas time on hot chocolate. What have we got here? Brand new windless. Oh, oh, it's shiny. This bad boy is a Lofren's Tigress. And it's going to be the end of our anchoring woes. Even comes with an extra cleat, which will make Emily happy. <laughs> Emily loves cleats. Look at it, it's so shiny. Oh, what have we got here? A CD ROM, because what year is this? Hey, Emily, it's got an extra cleat. Yeah! <laughs> How we can use that? <laughs> Genius. Why don't you put this CD? Are you sure that's going to fit on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put this CD-ROM in the really CD-ROM bad... drive that we don't have? <laughs> I got really bad deja vu just then. I feel like it might not fit. That's my deja vu. Du -du 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 -du. You feel like it might not fit. <laughs> okay. It's windless. It's windless time. Anchoring's getting easier, baby. Emily. This is where we're proposing to fit a placement windlass, which is a Lofren's Tigris, 1.5 kilowatt, 12 volt, with the DIN 766 Gypsy and the Rope Gypsy. The part Emily's most excited about is the cleat on top, because she always says we don't have enough. We are proposing to put it here in between our two Samson posts. You can't really see from this video but this positioning doesn't lose us the use of either Samson post uh, and it does give us the best chain fair lead and we have an anchor roller either side of our bow sprit so positioning it like this means we can use the rope gypsy and the chain gypsy for a pair of anchors at a time if we ever need to Gosh, oh, she's a beauty Hopefully this will spell the end of our anchoring woes. We do think we potentially need to upgrade our anchors though. We've got these guys. It's a little bit camouflaged against the dockside there. They don't have the weight stamped on them. But by hand they feel like they might be 15 kilos, maybe even less. Which seems a bit undersized for a 40 foot 12 tonne boat. So I've got a feeling that these guys are going to be the next upgrade that we do. What are you doing Adam? I'm trying to mark up this block of teak that's going to support a brand new windlass. Irritatingly this block of teak is not square, it's a parallelogram. Almost like we found it in a pile of rubbish round the back of a yard. It's exactly like that actually, because <laughs> that's where we found it. We did not steal it. Did not steal it. It's actually reclaimed wood. We think. Well, it was in a pile of rubbish surrounded by empty cans of epoxy, so I feel quite good about it. Thing. If 
found this oil extractor 6000, but it's still really hard. <laughs> <laughs> means it takes 6000 times as long <laughs> to extract. <laughs> Maybe we didn't run the engine long enough. So it did get much easier and now it's got much harder. <laughs> mm. There we go, we've shaped our block, we've cut the relevant holes in it, we've pinned it all together, epoxied it up, it's almost ready to mount the windlass on. So there we go, totally coated in epoxy. That's a few rough patches, and I went around the holes two to three times depending on which one. Uh, so some of those bits don't look too hot in the video, but yeah, I think it's going to look pretty good and it will definitely be tough. But the sun's setting here in Argostoli. That's probably it for today. I'll go away and look up whether I can sand this or use emery paper on it or something. And we get a nice finish tomorrow. That's what it's going to look like once we mount it on the epoxy plate. Uh, I think it's come out quite nicely actually. All the holes are in the right places, the epoxy set reasonably well, and it actually looks alright too. So our next step is to cut a great big hole in the teak that's already on the deck and all the way through the core of the boat, through the hull, uh, and out into the anchor locker, which I must admit I'm a little bit scared about. but. Um, gotta do it. Wish me luck. Before we can install it, we need to plug the hole in the deck left behind by the old windlass. So we made up these plugs with marine plywood and then epoxied them in. Our next step is to get rid of this hideous thing when we install the new windlass. We will get rid of that drain pipe and the new windlass will go forward next to our Samson posts. You can actually just see the little bit of light there which is where it's, go where it's gonna go. Uh, and then the chain will drop nicely straight into the locker which would be a much better situation for it. It'll fall a lot cleaner and we won't have to keep stopping <laughs> while we're anchoring or, or picking up the hook. We won't have to keep stopping and knocking over the chain and sorting it out. Hopefully it will drop nice and cleanly into this here anchor locker. Um, and we'll reclaim our guest bedroom as well. So here's where the old windlass was topside. You can see the lovely mess it's left of the deck. Nothing a bit of two-part paint won't sort out. All right, it's time to test the windlass. Step number one, turn the power on and see whether it spectacularly explodes. I can't see anything on fire. Doesn't seem to be on fire. <laughs> is it all blown up? Seems to not be on fire, which is <laughs> positive. Step two, head forwards. Ready. <laughs> That's uh, enough to climax. Yay, it doesn't work. Yay. I bet it's broken. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Oh, really? Slow down. Are you ready? Ready. What? Did it work? It works, it works, it works. Is it getting faster? <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's so smooth. But does it work with the 
entertaining it. <laughs> I mean, it should do. With our new windlass successfully installed, we hopped across the bay to the little town of Lixori, where we knew we could fill up our water tanks and finally have a much needed shower. Okay, so we're in Luxury where we came to get water um, and now we want to go to Zante. Zante. We've had a few showers in the town key which has been very luxurious. 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 Um, so yeah, we're going to go a little bit later and hope that we can get some wind because it's always so calm in the morning. Um, and this sail should be about six hours, so hopefully we'll get in before dark. We'll probably leave about 11 and then we've got a bit of wiggle room. So we're hopping across. There's Catalonia and there's Zante. And we're going to go, we're going to aim to anchor in somewhere called Ag Nicolaus. And we're just going to anchor there, we're not going to go onto the town key because it looks a bit hectic. <laughs> Look how busy it looks. Oh, stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I think we can anchor in this. It looks like a channel, but hopefully there's loads of anchor signs. Hopefully we can anchor there. People say it's good holding. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what we'll do from there. Maybe go and see that town. The blue caves I really want to see, but I think, I don't know, I don't know if you can anchor there. So we'll probably head for this place and then suss it out. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get good. some downwind sailing. Maybe we'll actually get some sailing. It would be horrible if it's like it was when we sailed around to Argos Dolly, but um, hopefully it won't be. Hopefully we'll actually have some nice weather to sail in. And yeah, we're going to check out a new place. I'm quite excited. Everyone, I think it will be quite busy here. It's quite a tourist hotspot, so it might not be that nice but there's loads to see if we do like it there yeah. very good okay what's going to make it loads easier our we, new windlass we actually have a windlass now so yeah we haven't had a chance to try it yet because we came <laughs> alongside in luxury <laughs> um obviously we've sort of tested it on the boat but we don't want to test it in augustoli abandoned marina where there's probably stuff all over the floor so yeah, first time anchoring out with the new windlass. We kind of need a plan. So there is this, we need a plan B really in case the windlass doesn't work and it's all set up to work. So there is this town key here, but um, we'd rather not have to use it if we don't have to. But who knows? Who knows? Wish us luck. Uh, where are we going, Adam? I don't know, something weird's happened. The engine's cut out, but it's still moving. <laughs> I don't know, I guess just wherever the wind blows us. Got these weird white things up there. I don't know what they're all about. It's so weird. You can like hear the sea. It's bizarre, isn't it? Great. I'm going to have to work on my tinnitus some other way. <laughs> so that island over there, that one, that's Zakynthos. Zakynthos? Zakynthos. Zakynthos. It's a Greek island and we're going to it. Also known as Zante. And we're sailing there. We're actually sailing. This is where my parents had their honeymoon. They've given us a list of nice places to go to. So you know what? You must find Stavros. Great guy. <laughs> Can't wait. They also said they saw octopus. Oh yeah, they saw octopus. But this was how many years ago? <laughs> 30 years ago or something, but he's still there.
Oh yeah. So we got into this anchorage in on Zakynthos. Zakynthos. Zakyntho. And um, it started, we got around there, it was lovely, we were having a really nice little sail, we were doing six knots on the Genoa in like 15 knots of wind, it was perfect. And then we got around the headland, the wind picked up to, I don't know, 22 knots sustained and then gusting a bit more. So we uh, reefed pretty quick, uh, sailed all the way down to this anchorage and then the wind was picked up even more, so we had 30 knots of wind. I saw 31 on the clock at one point. <laughs> it was gusting, gusting 30, but like sustained 25. And we had to anchor in this tiny anchorage. Like five other boats came in at the same time and tried to anchor. And guess what we used? Our new windlass! And it just put the anchor down, the anchor just held straight away, and we just let out all the chain, and we don't have to worry about picking up. seem to be holding really well. The wind's starting to die down a bit. <laughs> tell, tell them how I nearly lost the anchor and all the chain. Oh yeah, I don't actually know why. Oh, so we let out too much chain and it went onto the rope. So then we needed to get the anchor back up into the gypsy. So I used so, our brand new rope gypsy. So Adam used the brand new rope gypsy, which worked a treat. And we Hold got the it anchor up. up. And then Adam was like, oh, do you know what? I'll tie off the anchor, so the rope, so that, not, so that the anchor can't run out of the gypsy, basically. if we're dragging with the engine on ready to like get out of trouble and little did I know we nearly lost the whole anchor and all the chain yeah and then I would have just been shot backwards into down you can see but this is my poor hand yeah you can't see can you but that's my poor hand so yeah we're gonna have some dinner and what are we having for dinner halloumi skewers oh my god halloumi, yes vegetable skewers and rice delicious Halloumi is a real treat. So. Anybody would like to send Emily some halloumi, don't. It will go off by the time she gets it. True fact. Thanks. Can you hear that wind? Ooh, crazy. Ooh, I'm the wind. Ooh. Crazy wind. <laughs> oh my god, the wind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then you can support us by liking, subscribing, and leaving us a comment below. Thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel and website. Gary and Sam, our newest patrons, have just become new homeowners. Congratulations, guys, and a huge, huge thank you. Tune in next time when we explore one of our season's highlights, the Blue Caves, and have an awesome sail down the coast of Zante.